As a pediatrician, every day I meet parents of newborns who want nothing more than to keep their baby safe and healthy. I tell them one of the most important things you can do to safeguard your child's health now and long into the future is to make sure they receive the recommended vaccines on schedule. I see firsthand how vaccines help protect my youngest patients from serious and potentially fatal diseases. Immunizations work by training your baby's immune system to recognize and fight germs before they cause illness. Without vaccines, babies are vulnerable to life-threatening diseases. So which vaccines are important for babies from birth to age two? The CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, have an immunization schedule that's designed to give protection against dangerous diseases like hepatitis B, pertussis, also known as whooping cough, measles, influenza, meningitis, pneumonia, bacteria in the blood, and others as soon as it's safe to do so. These diseases can be severe in babies. Vaccines offer the best protection we have. The flu shot is also important for babies. Starting at six months, babies should get two doses in the first year and then a single annual dose of the flu vaccine every year after that. What about adjusting the timing of vaccines? Can you wait to give some vaccines until your child is older or goes to school? No, that is not recommended. The vaccine schedule is based on evidence-based scientific research. The immunizations are given at specific intervals to ensure the highest protection during the vulnerable first months and years of a baby's life. Highly respected groups like the American Academy of Pediatrics, American Academy of Family Physicians, and the CDC all agree on which vaccines to give and exactly when to give them to best protect children from serious viral and bacterial infections. These groups are made up of trusted scientists and medical experts. Following the recommended vaccination schedule is critical to ensure protection for your baby, as is making sure your child gets all the shots in a vaccine series. So this means making sure you follow up on the second and third doses of particular vaccines if needed. Parents often have questions about how vaccines are tested to make sure that they're safe. Vaccines are researched and tested extensively for safety for an average of 15 years before being approved for use in people. Now the COVID-19 vaccine was an exception. Many of the financial and regulatory hurdles were expedited to quickly deliver protection to communities during the pandemic. The typical vaccine approval process is very rigid and is overseen by the Food and Drug Administration. There are extremely high standards that must be met before any product is allowed for human use. After a vaccine is approved, long-term follow-up studies continue to watch for side effects or adverse reactions. When vaccines are approved and recommended, here at Sutter, we take an additional safety step. All CDC vaccine decisions are carefully reviewed by our Sutter Health Vaccine Advisory Committee, which includes specialists such as clinicians and pharmacists. I'm often asked if it's safe to give babies multiple vaccines in the same visit. Yes, studies have shown that multiple vaccines typically can be given at the same visit safely without overloading your baby's immune system. And what about side effects? The benefits of protection from harmful diseases far outweigh the minimal side effects, which are temporary and typically limited to soreness at the injection site or a mild fever. Parents can help comfort their baby during the vaccine visit. You'll be able to help hold and be close to your baby during the vaccination, which can be soothing for them. We also find distraction works really well. Bring your child's favorite toy or music or sing to them. As soon as we're finished giving the vaccines, you're welcome to breastfeed, or you can give your baby sugar water either through a dropper or a pacifier, as that can also be really comforting. Please let us know what helps calm your baby. We want to help in any way we can. Remember, vaccines save lives. They have single-handedly reduced infant mortality rates. By ensuring your baby gets the recommended vaccines on schedule, you are giving them the healthiest possible start.
It's understandable. You may have questions about vaccinating your baby. We encourage you to talk openly with your care team if you have concerns. We're here to answer any questions you have and to help you make informed decisions. Working together, we can keep our children and our community healthy and safe. Thank you.